Hi, uh, my name is Daryl Christie and I am the conductor for The Highwayman. This is uh, part one, movement two, take two. The score for The Highwayman is complex. <laughs> But also full of so much uh, intensity and emotion. wonderful to see, you know, through every rehearsal and through every iteration of us performing the piece, uh, how the piece changes and morphs and, you know, more of the musical material that we find within the piece, uh, the more that we play it. And um, working with Christina has been uh, absolutely fantastic. She brings such intensity to her performance. Um, and I think that uh, as, a, as a, an ensemble, we all feed off of that wonderful energy that she brings. I'm Dean Burry, and I'm the composer and the producer of The Highwayman. So The Highwayman is a ballad poem that was written by Alfred Noyes in 1906. Uh, some might consider it schmaltzy or post-romantic. It basically tells the story of this dashing highway robber in the 18th century who falls in love with Bess, the beautiful landlord's daughter. There's passion and secret trysts and murder involved as well. It's a very intense example of British romanticism. About 10 years ago, I was actually doing my doctorate at U of T um, and looking for a new project and at the same time kind of really exploring a, a work called Piero Lunaire by Arnold Schoenberg um, and the clear connection of the moon between Piero Lunaire and the highway and then make me think, is there some way to kind of bring these two things together? Using the resources of Piero Lunaire, which is the flute doubling piccolo, clarinet doubling bass clarinet, violin, cello, piano, and mezzo-soprano, take that little tiny kind of mini version of an opera, create this little song cycle, this dramatic song cycle, exploring the angular expressionism of the Schoenberg piece and that lush romanticism of the actual poem. I've been here now at Queen's for about five years and pretty quickly realized that the amazing resources here were the perfect environment to try to bring that piece back to the, to the stage. I'm also grateful for the Imagine program here at the Isabel Bader Center, which really um, is there to kind of build these new pieces and really, um, again, not, and create this kind of environment for things to kind of even become more than they, they may have been otherwise.
So the recording process is interesting. I haven't uh, been in the situation a ton, uh, so it always feels just very cool, you know, to be sitting behind a huge mixer with all this going on. The way this really works is you just gather great people together and just support them to do what they do. Okay, this is the Harry Man Patch 2, Movement 1 Patch. So it's, it's an incredible ensemble that we've uh, brought together here for this project, and they're all dance school professors. Um, we have Sarah Moon on the flute. Sarah is uh, just a, a wizard at contemporary music, and for the first moment I heard her, I thought, yeah, this is the flutist for this project. Cornell Wallach on the clarinet. Such a showman. Every single part is an actor uh, in this story. And Cornell brings out that uh, in spades. Giselle dalbeck Chesniak and uh, Wolf Torman on the strings, the violin and the cello. I've heard them play so much here. My wife plays uh, in a lot of ensembles with them. To see them playing for so many years and to actually be able to work with them and have them in one of my pieces has just been a real treat. <laughs> And Youngen, uh, on the piano, funnily enough, I taught at the Glenn Gould School about 12 years ago. It's been great to, to have gotten to know Youngen as a, a teacher-student situation and now to be working professionally again as well. well again. It also... There is the talent which is involved, um, but there's also the, the dependability and reliability and the just ease of working with someone. And Daryl Christie really kind of brings that all together in a sense with incredible artistic ideas, but just someone who makes the working environment so absolutely pleasant and joyful. Christina Zabo is uh, someone who I've, I've jokingly described as a Burry mezzo-soprano. We've worked together on a number of projects, and I think if I could have her in every project I do in the future, I would. Um, Christine is incredibly theatrical with whatever she does, uh, adventurous and playful, um, and, uh, and it just gets my music, I think. One other really fun technique that I've been able to use with the Highwayman is what's called prepared piano, uh, which is actually something the composer John Cage started using back in the 60s, um, which involves inserting objects into the piano to create sounds that you wouldn't uh, otherwise have gotten.
The Highwayman, of course, has a lot of galloping. There's a lot of horse riding in it. And I thought, is there some way that we can make the piano sound like a horse? And after some experimenting, some simple wooden clothespins uh, placed between the strings of the upper notes gave this wonderful wood blocky galloping effect that happens. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christina Sabo, a mezzo-soprano, and I am the soloist in The Highwayman. I've known Dean Burry for many, many years, and I've done multiple projects with him. And in 2016, he was completing his doctorate at the University of Toronto, and he approached me to sing uh, the soloist part in The Highwayman. I sang it for his final doctoral recital. And then a couple years ago, we've been talking about putting this project together. The text of The Highwayman is super intense. The story is incredibly intense. Um, and it's a gift to be singing in a language that I speak. So there's an immediacy um, of connection to, to the storytelling. The differences of performing The Highwayman particularly and recording are, are substantial in that The Highwayman as a complete work is, in, is, is a big thing for me. Um, so I have to temper um, my energy um, because I have a long way to travel uh, vocally. recording process, it's been wonderful because we take lots of breaks and I can do what I want with a particular movement um, and then take a little vocal break and then be able to do the big things. It has been wonderful to do this project with the Dan School of Drama and Music at Queen's University and particularly to be in this wonderful facility, the Isabel Bader Center for the Performing Arts. Like a rock.